Welcome everybody, my name is Michael Lord Kubera, and today we're discussing about the timeless question, when should I invest into Bitcoin or for that matter, cryptocurrency? So this will vary as with anything regarding investments and your money because everybody has a different level of risk and a different level that they're going to be comfortable with. Some people might be comfortable going 100% all in despite the fact that they probably shouldn't and they can't afford to do that so the number one rule is if you can't afford to invest you shouldn't so where should we limit this i'm going to give you a few examples you're able to take this how you want this is just my advice coming from somebody who also got into cryptocurrency with less than a few thousand dollars can it be done yes it certainly can you can make a lot of money if your timing is right but if your timing is wrong then near a few thousand dollars well it'll really hurt you because of fees whether that be transactional fees whether that will be withdrawal fees whether that will be exchange conversion fees there's fees for for trading, there's fees everywhere you look at it. So these are tiny fees. However, withdrawal, for example, is $5. So if you're trading less than $1,000, then you go cash out at the local Bitcoin ATM, which is 4%. You take that 4%, you take the $5 here. Well, let's say it's an Ethereum. You got to convert into Bitcoin. That will definitely change your margins. And if you're doing a lot of small few hundred dollar trades, some of these decisions will definitely be impacted by those fees. And you do not want to be impacted by that even psychologically speaking even if your bitcoin goes up a few percent you realize hey i can't sell it it has to be higher than this because it's just not worth it at that point and that's dangerous. That's why a lot of investors, including myself, eventually, maybe in the short run you're doing well, but eventually in the long term, you will lose money because it's all psychological. It doesn't matter about the facts. It doesn't matter what's actually happening with the company, with Bitcoin, with whatever token you're invested into. The markets may be doing just fine, but there's still a lot of people who lose money, even when everything is going up. And especially when everything is going up, you get really emotional. So in order not to get emotional, in order to avoid that, I've been receiving a lot of comments and messages and even people from my inner circle, some people that I mentioned that, hey, yeah, I was involved in Bitcoin, I was investing, I want to get some Bitcoin ATMs over the past few months. Now these people are messaging me and they're saying, hey, listen, I have money, I'm in a business that's in a different industry, I know very little about Bitcoin, or comments like, I'm a student, I have a few thousand dollars saved up. So both of these examples are great. And let's discuss in this video what you should do, whether you have uh, enough money for an emergency fund or whether it's only a few thousand dollars. If you know very, very little about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and you're asking your buddy or somebody who knows a fair amount about cryptocurrency, but he's not an expert in it, I'm neither a developer nor a hardcore investor, a day trader in cryptocurrency, it's always good to get a second opinion. But a number one thing is before you invest, you cannot do this where you just throw money at it and hopefully it goes up because you don't fully understand what you're investing into. So the number one thing is, hey, have a paying job. If you're a student and you don't have a paying job or you have just a part-time, let's say seasonal gig right now, you know, Thanksgiving, the holidays coming up, Christmas, if you're only making money for a few months out of the year, it's not a wise decision to invest a few thousand dollars that you have unless you already have an emergency fund, unless you have, let's say you want to have transportation you have a car, if all your bills are paid, if everything's fine financially speaking, you have enough money for rent for the next few months. It's not like, oh my gosh, I have $3,000, but next month something might happen, especially now with the pandemic, because that's when you start making really emotional decisions. If you have to take this money out for whatever reason, for the next year, for the next two years, three, five years, you already lost because even if everything goes up, you might make a decision out of panic. And that's how ultimately I ended up losing a lot of money because I started making decisions, bad decisions out of panic, sheer panic. I was stressed out, high cortisol levels. I wasn't thinking straight. I started investing in really crappy tokens. 
I wanted to make up some of my losses. I didn't want to sell. I wanted to huddle on, even though everything was starting to crash. So when everything is going great right now, the first thing you need to do is take a step back. If you know nothing about cryptocurrency, get that emergency fund up. For this, it will vary depending on country. But in America, I think a safe emergency fund, a low emergency fund is $5,000 because healthcare is expensive. If you break a leg, doctor's visits are averaging 300 to 600 bucks. If you break a tooth, you got to go to a dentist. Sometimes that costs you $1,000. If you have a car, it breaks down. There we go, another $1,000, $2,000. Something happens, your phone breaks, your laptop breaks, $2,000. So $5,000 should cover one to multiple emergency situations. And hopefully by then, if you have a stable paying job, you're able to replenish the $5,000 emergency fund. So once you have that, once you have a few months rent saved up, you're able to pay for your phone bill, your, your internet, your utilities, everything is fine. And on top of that, you have a few thousand dollars that you're ready to just save up or invest with. The best thing is to do low risk investments. You wanna beat inflation, that's okay. The banks won't help you here. Hiding your money under a mattress while well, you're gonna lose. Going into gold is a certainly safe way to park it, but if you wanna really invest, crypto is certainly an option. However, there's a lot of low risk cryptocurrency opportunities. Bitcoin, if you're going into crypto, Bitcoin is one of the lower risk options to moderately risk. When it's really volatile, you can go into a stable coin that you trust. Then when everything's okay, then you can get out of the stable coin, go back into Bitcoin, you're going to be fine. Ethereum is also a pretty good safe bet. DeFi is definitely one of the high risk options. You can make a lot of money, but you could also lose it very quickly. Now, investing into Bitcoin, there's different ways to invest. You can do a normal investment where you buy it at a good point, you feel comfortable with it. And I would definitely not recommend going into futures trading or day trading because a lot of people will lose money. Even in the short term, you're making money, you will lose money. Statistically speaking, 90 to 95% of people lose money in the long run doing day trading and options and futures and commodities. It gets really, really complex. So if this is a hobby, if this is just something you want to throw money at, if you're not in it, spending multiple hours researching what's going on, what are the rumors, what are some updates, what are the hard force, what are the events, if you know deeply cryptocurrency, you're going to be much better off. But if you don't know, this is the video for you. Are you able to make money with a few thousand dollars? Yes, but the safest bet, and I know this is going to seem a little bit high, in America, it does seem like a good amount for younger people like myself, because usually it's the younger crowd who's interested in cryptocurrency. But a lot of YouTubers, a lot of influencers, a lot of investors, a lot of people recommend this number. One Bitcoin to start off with. I didn't start off with that amount, but one Bitcoin makes you forget about these fees. If you have an emergency fund plus one Bitcoin, which is currently seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars $18,000, then you're able to do, let's say, half of it in Bitcoin, half of it into slightly higher risk investments as long as you're doing your research with it so at first you might just want to stay with bitcoin for a few months then you're able to branch out and then you're always able to come back to bitcoin you could always do half a bitcoin but one bitcoin is secure you know you can do a lot with that one bitcoin if you invest a few thousand dollars into let's say a DeFi project that you feel very confident with you have a lot of research and it does very well you 10x hey suddenly you're so close to getting a second bitcoin you could lend out your Bitcoin. You could do a lot with that Bitcoin. You do not want to be emotionally impacted at all. Your decisions must be made like Marcus Aurelius with meditations. You are stoic about it. You are stone dead set. All right, I'm going to sell at this price and this is what I'm going to do. Uh, you should definitely do your research. If you have less than six months of research into cryptocurrency where you spend at least an hour or two every single day, there are some free courses out there. There's a lot of books. There's a lot of knowledge on Reddit, on YouTube, on forums, on Bitcoin talk. Even just visiting the news websites and following news pages, you're able to see, all right, well, this is what's happening with Bitcoin. This company got in. This guy sold out. After six months of that, you start to get a little bit more knowledge. So to those of you who are wondering, should I invest right now? That is my advice. Save up to get one Bitcoin. If you can't save up, get a better paying job. Save up first before that one Bitcoin into an emergency fund. Have a few months rent paid off. 
it made a world of a difference when I had multiple months of money for rent, for utilities, for all of my bills right in front of me. I knew, all right, this is how much I'm going to spend. I'm able to make a budget. Rockefeller, John D. Rockefeller, one of the world's richest men still to this day with adjustment for inflation. He beat Jeff Bezos by double his net worth. And one of the richest men of his time, this was a few decades back, John Paul Getty or Jean Paul Getty of Getty Oil. He was also an oil man. Both of these interesting figures, look into them, look into their biographies, but both of them were very, very frugal. They budgeted every single expense in their little books. They were great at accounting. They made sure, all right, every single penny is accounted for. They invested wisely. They didn't go into high-risk situations unless they were younger and they could have afforded it. When you're young, when you have nothing to lose, you can afford higher-risk situations, but you still don't ever want to go 100%. You could make a lot of money, but trust me on this, you do not want to risk facing years of of potentially bad consequences. So that's the video. If you're worried, oh my gosh, but I don't have enough money to invest right now. I've only got a few thousand dollars. Relax. This happens in cycles. This might be a long bull market cycle, but even if you don't get in, it's actually usually better to buy when Bitcoin's on the low end. So when we're in a bear market and you feel comfortable, all right, if it's going to go back up, you can buy then. Warren Buffett, a lot of these guys made their money buying in bear market cycles. So if you trust Bitcoin, if you trust cryptocurrency, it's still going to be around. Don't worry. Do your research. Get an emergency fund set up. Save up for one Bitcoin, whatever it'll be worth at the time. And that is that. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Michael Eric Cabrera. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.